What's that family? Shalom. In the book of Hebrews, I want to read to you guys chapter 3. Wherefore, holy brethren, partakers of a heavenly calling, consider the apostle and high priest of our profession, Christ Jesus, who was faithful to him that appointed him, and also Moses was faithful in all his house. For this man was counted worthy of more glory than Moses, inasmuch as he who hath built the house hath more honor than the house. For every house is builded by some man, but he that build, built on all things is God. And Moses verily was faithful in all his house as a servant for the testimony of those things which were spoken after. But Christ as a son over his own house, whose house are we, if we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm unto the end. Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost saith to the day, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works forty years, wherefore I was grieved with that generation, and said, They do always error in their heart, and they have not known my ways. So I swear in my wrath that they shall not enter into my rest. Take heed, brethren, lest there be any of you with an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. But exhort one another daily. While it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. For we are made partakers of Christ, if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end. While it is said today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation. For some, when they had heard, did provoke. How bet not all came out of Egypt by Moses? But with whom he has grieved for forty years, was it not with them that had sinned, whose carcasses fell in the wilderness? And to whom swore, swear that, he sh that they shall not enter into his rest, but to them that believeth not? So we, sh so we see that we could not enter in because of unbelief. your faith and keep your belief in Christ always no matter what you're going through what you're facing don't be cast down because of your unbelief you must receive faith if nothing else that's all it takes